uh, this is my playroom, Monica. Uh, this is where I work. Uh, this is where uh, I um, look at some of my older pieces that are on the wall. And uh, I reflect on what I was in the past and uh, what I'm becoming. Doing artwork now for f over 55 years. Or just about that, I began seriously to see myself as an artist in 1962. I was then working as a teacher of literature and writing at a, a college, and I found myself um, drawn more and more to artwork and uh, racing into my playroom that was then in my house when I completed student papers and my responsibilities as a teacher. And so I've had something of a double career for many years, and I have found that uh, rather exciting and something of a special gift. Uh, in this room, Monica, uh, there are paintings, uh, there are paintings, there are collages, there are small sculptures, many of them. My Some of my larger sculptures are not in this room. So it's been great fun for me to experiment with materials. My sculptures are made of wood. Uh, they're made of uh, found objects. Uh, they're made of um, paper, cardboard, miscellaneous items. Uh, I have a good deal of clay sculpture that I've made over the years. I love working with clay. In fact, there's a small piece here in this room made in Mexico that I actually made using dried out banana peels and incorporated that with wood into a small sculpture. I just want to mention that uh, the paintings on the wall uh, are uh, they go back some years, uh, maybe 10 years, 12 years. Some of the paintings were finished uh, just maybe six months ago or so, and I keep looking at them to decide whether they are, in fact, finished, because I'm going to be putting them, the new ones, uh, into the gallery, and I want them to be as finished as I can possibly make them. Uh, some people ask me how I know when a piece of mine is finished. And I usually say, <clears throat> when I have nothing more to eliminate from them. Because I find that uh, in early stages of my work, I am putting too much into my paintings. And that's even true in my sculptures. And so I find that I am simplifying, eliminating. And that's a test for me. Have I eliminated everything that I want to be eliminated? This painting that you see here on the easel has a historic aspect to it. Uh, in uh, December, just about two months ago, I took a fall and broke my shoulder and needed surgery. My right shoulder which meant I couldn't do very much painting at all. So I decided I would try a painting with my left hand. This was done about three weeks after I broke my shoulder. My right hand was in a sling, and I attempted to paint with my left hand. What I like about the painting is the spontaneity of it, the innocence the quality of innocence that I seem to bring into it, it has a childlike quality that I admire. And in general, I might tell you that I'm pleased with a painting of mine in the past when I could find a childlike quality in it, a kind of spontaneity and innocence. And uh, you probably know that when Picasso was asked what was the great secret of his success? Well, he gave many reasons. But one was 
I've managed to keep the child alive in me. Well, my accident had a positive aspect. I can see a painting in which I see the child in me. Uh, it's cluttered, it's messy, which is a wonderful condition for me to get ideas. Uh, because a neatness and tidiness uh, doesn't work for me in the art studio. Uh, and I'm always delighted when I look at a cluttered area and I say, gee, those two colors are wonderful that are sitting together there. Or these two forms can be the beginning of a painting or even a sculpture. So uh, uh, on the one hand, I wish we were in a more tidy place, but on the other hand, uh, I benefit from the uh, mixture of things that are all around me. That, that would be a brief summary of what's going on here. And I thank you again. Thank you. For coming. <laughs>